Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Welcome to 12 Minutes of Meditation by Dr. Cheese. Our focus today is woe to the prophets that say peace when there is no peace. Woe to the prophets that say peace peace when there is no peace yeko tabasiki rande bobo bo she la 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 yeko rande bobo bo she rande bobo bo she la 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 we want to bring balance today yeko tabasiki rande bobo bo she rande bobo bo she la 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 we want to let you know, Nikadambo shake it and de bobo bo she. We want to be honest with you. Ye ko rande bobo bo she la 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 la. Sometimes people do things, they get into a place where there is no peace. Ye ko taba shake it and de bobo bo she la 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 la. And someone come alongside, begin to prophesy, begin to say, begin to speak on the behalf of God, and say, Thus saith the Lord, there is peace. So, Lord, forgive me if I've ever spoken out of line, if I spoke it out of my own spirit, out of my own flesh, and telling someone there is peace, when there is no peace, Lord, help me have the mind of Christ when I speak, especially when there is no peace Lord, Lord I want to be in agreement with you I, when I speak I want to be in agreement with you I want to I don't want to speak out of my own self I don't want to speak out of my own flesh my own imagination woe to the prophets that say peace when there is no peace. That means maybe they're functioning without God. When you're functioning without God, when you're living without God, when you depart from Christ, there is no peace. There can be no peace. Look at all the uh, millionaires as a whole. They have all the money. And a lot of them do not have Jesus. And when they don't have Jesus, they have no peace. The children have no peace. So we have to bring balance. We can't just speak, say that everybody's living in peace. Some are living outside of peace. Listen here. When we look at Ezekiel chapter 13, uh, it talks about because even because they have subdued my people. See, prophets, they'll subdue, they'll uh, convince they manipulate making people thinking that there is peace when there is no peace. Okay, bring your money here, and this is what God is going to do. Give me your money. Get in the $1,000 line. Bring your sickness to God. Okay, everybody who's sick, get in the line. Get your $1,000 together. My sick it and say and God is going to give you peace. I'm telling you today, this is a seducing spirit. This is not of God. They say, they'll say peace when there is no peace. And one build upon a wall 
and lo, others plaster it and with mud plastered. And so we find that these prophets, they are prophesied or speak on the behalf of God, telling people they are, there is peace. Now, let's go back to Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 1. And the word of the Lord came to Ezekiel, son of man, prophesied against these prophets of Israel that prophesy, saying unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Come on. Some people prophesy out of their own hearts. Lord, help us not to prophesy out of our own hearts. Let us prophesy out of the mind of Christ. Let help us to pick up in the spirit what's on the Father's heart, because the spirit searches the deep things of God. And so the spirit, the mind of the spirit knows knows the deep things of God. And so we can pick up by the spirit and prophesy. By the spirit, and what's in our spirit going to rise up in our mind. But some of us, we prophesy out of our own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, <clears throat> Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. So there's some, they started off right. But then because of mammon, because of money, they turn astray. They begin to go the other way and they begin to listen to another voice. And then they begin to operate um, like mechanically, they begin to operate at will without God. And so they are prophesied from their hearts. They are prophesied from their own imagination. They are prophesied from another spirit. And we find that they would tell the people that have ye not seen a vain vision and have not spoken a divine divination, whereas ye say that the Lord said it, albeit I have not spoken. So look at your God. There's some things that we say that we say that God said it, and God says, I have not spoken it. So that's why it's best to stay close to the word as possible when you speak. You speak the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. You speak from the reference from the word of God. Hallelujah. You don't want to tell people that there is peace when there is no peace. He said, woe unto the prophets that say peace when there is no peace. And then he goes on and says, therefore, say unto the, the therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because he have spoken vanity and seen lies, therefore, behold, I am against you, saith the Lord God. So when you start seeing prophets falling, there's a spirit of judgment would come upon the earth and begin to um, uh, blow against the prophets, blow against those who the prophet, praise the Lord, have, have um, bewitched. And so we... Um, want to um, allow you to get back to God. Let, let God draw you back to the true purpose of your life. Hallelujah. Because if not, we will find ourselves chasing uh, ministries, chasing prophets, chasing individuals. We, we won't be satisfied. We'll go here, stay there for a, a season, and then go to another one, and go to another one, go to another one. And before you know it, you'll be in your 60s, and you haven't done anything for the Lord. And Jesus wants you to be a witness. All you have to do is believe the word of the Lord and get Acts 1-8 upon your life after you believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. And on the third day, he arose from the dead. He, that he died for your sin and rose from the dead. That's all you have to believe. And he sit by the right hand of the Father. Once you believe that and get the Holy Ghost upon you, be a witness. Let him, okay, 
Okay, so for three years, okay, you study under someone, and then now you can stand on your own. Go out. Go out, and maybe God have you assigned to that ministry to help that ministry. Okay, good. But you don't need to. I'm talking about those who uh, has a restless spirit. They're going like a, a vagabond. They go here, then this ministry, then that ministry, then that ministry, then that ministry, then that ministry. They're never satisfied. They're never satisfied because someone has bewitched you. Someone has told you a lie and you believe the lie. So drop everything you have, drop your nets and go back to the beginning and start all over it. And you'll find out that, wow, they were lying to me. Wow, they prophesied lies to me. They prophesied me out of my destiny. Well, God wants you to get back on your into your destiny. And, and, and then verse 9, it says, And my hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and, and that divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people. See, God don't want them to be in the assembly of his people. Matter of fact, when the Spirit of the Lord fall in the place, the Spirit of the Lord is going to deal with them. They're going to they're going to rest upon them and they're going to uh they're going to vomit the old out of them, that that evil spirit, that spirit that would want to prophesy lies, it's going to uh, cause them to vomit or cause them to be still in the congregation of the Lord. Matter of fact, it's going to drive them away from the congregation of the Lord. Neither shall they be written in the writings of the house of Israel, neither shall they enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord God. Because, even because they have subdued my people, saying peace when there is no peace. And one bill up a wall, and lo, others plastered it with mud plaster. So you see God uh, basically saying that, okay, they, they're making these walls, and, and they trying to protect themselves. They're building their projects, and the God said, okay, uh, I'm going to overflow with this these walls with showers. I'm going to send a great hailstorm. The, and, and these uh, walls with plaster and mud plaster will fall. A stormy wind shall rent it. So, the, so God is going to send the, the, uh, a great uh, storm uh, on those things that people build outside of God. And these things is going to fall. Surely they're going to fall. And God is going to consume these things. And then we find that in verse... Um, let me read verse 15. Thus will I accomplish my wrath upon the wall and upon them that have plastered it with mud plaster and will say unto you, the wall is no more, neither they that plastered it. So God, for those uh, that have told God's people and told people there is peace when there is no peace, come on, let's forgive. Lord, forgive us. Lord, I, I stand in the gap for those who, not knowing, have prophesied, have spoke on the behalf of you. Thus saith the Lord. I hear God saying, it goes out by sick. And, and so these things that we say that is not of you, Lord, forgive us. And, and Lord, please don't hold it to our account. Please forgive us. And Lord, we know you're merciful, God. And then verse 16, it says, to wit. The prophets of Israel, which prophesy concerning Jerusalem and which sees visions of peace. Now they seen these visions of peace of her and there is no peace, saith the Lord God. Hallelujah. Isn't it something to have a vision to say there is peace when there is no peace? Because the enemy can give you, uh, the, the man of, uh, of sin can give you visions too. So you got to know the word of the Lord so you can measure who's speaking to you. Be verse 22, because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad. Wow. Wow. Woe. Woe to them that make the righteous sad. Whom I have not made sad. See, look, some of the righteous that are listening you walking around sad, 
when God wants you to be at peace. But the word of the Lord will come from the evil one to speak words that make you sad. Hallelujah. And you can um, and strengthen the hands of the wicked so they doing all these things so they can get an advantage. They can get ahead. So it's all centered around mammon. It's centered around money or idols in people's hearts that they, that he shall not return from his wicked way by promising him life. So I tell you today, woe unto the prophets that say peace when there is no peace. Verse 23, therefore ye shall see no more vanity nor divine divination for I will deliver my people out of your hand and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I say let this day be a day to know that God is delivering you from the prophets that are speaking lies to you. God is delivering you from prophets that are speaking from their own hearts. God is delivering you from prophets that are speaking vanity from their own hearts to get gain. I'm telling you today, woe unto the prophets that say peace when there is no peace. God is drawing you back to himself now. So drop your nets. Drop your nets, those things that you have that is attached to other people that you keep going back to different ones, this one, this one, this one, this one, even the soothsayers, even the, the diviners. You go there to get power. But I tell you today, drop your nets and rest in God because woe to the prophets that says peace when there is no peace. You have been listening to 12 Minutes of Meditation by Dr. Cheese.